Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanolades at Dawn. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333, and this next match is going to be between Malaric and North Chilean G on Wanderlust, which is not a map I've seen in a while, but it's always a map I enjoy seeing because it's pretty. It has nice hills, and it's a pretty fun map to play. So let's get to it. North Chilean G is going to be going for an opening metal extractor. Okay, never mind. They're actually going to go in for an opening spider factory. And Malaric going for a slightly proxy Cloaky Bot Factory. Being very forward. Risky, but potentially effective. Ah! Going for the Warrior Rush. I haven't seen this in a while. I mean, occasionally it comes up, but as a thing, it wasn't... It was a thing briefly. I remember Kane trying to do this big challenge. It was... Oh, that was... Those were the days when he was trying to do this essentially Day 9 style Monday thing. Fun Day Monday. And... The first one, and only one, in fact, was the Warrior, Double Warrior Rush. And it was a neat little thing that happened for a week or two, and then it stopped really being a thing as people realized they could just push in with their own Warriors, or just have skirmishers and win that way. But it looks like in this case, Malric is being a bit more defensive, not going for the Rush, instead using the Warrior as a way of just avoiding the Raider game entirely while building up forward. Although, they are missing a bit of an advantage. Granted, this is not a great position. The thing is, this position provides control over this. Pretty much. It doesn't provide much control over here or up here. So this entire northeast side is effectively forfeited. Whereas if the Cloakybot Factory was up, say... Actually, it's hard to really place it. If here would be really risky, but would allow for control over this area and a little bit over here... I mean, there's a reason why people usually build here, because it allows control over this. And light control over the southeast. But where they've built, they do have pretty much guaranteed 10 metal per second on top of their commander income. So that's something. It's just a little bit harder to get to, and they also aren't building up anything that quickly. The Conjurer is a little bit... Well, okay, they're waiting on the commander, really. Commander is taking priority, so that's how it works. And there's the warrior coming forward. It's not going to do a whole lot of good, I'm afraid. The Lotus alone is going to knock it down, knock most of his health down, and the commander should be able to finish it off. And at the best of times, for reference, for crying out loud, what is with the selection widgets? Sorry, my selection widgets are being completely messed up. Circles. Anyway, as I was saying, with the way that Malak has it said, or sorry, with. At the best of times, you need two warriors to kill a commander. And one damaged warrior is never going to do it. So Malric right now is not in the best of positions. North Chilean G, they have this area they have control over thanks to grabbing that front. So they can very easily grab all this. In fact, because of where their fleas are, they can also pretty easily grab this without worrying too much. But they are a little bit at risk. A glaive is exerting a bit of soft control to the north. At the moment, though, it's not a big deal. So North Chilean G and Malric pretty much folks entirely on the south side, not worrying too much about the north side. If either one were to start naked expanding to the north, especially if North Chilean G started naked expanding over to the northeast, that would work extremely well. Or actually, would it? Malric does have ra oops. Malric does have radar. Hmm. They go a bit north. I don't think North Chilean G is aware of this, though, but if they were to go a bit north, that would actually give them enough leeway to both build up in the northeast without being and not be detected so oh i don't think north chile is going to do that also why is heck i don't see north chile and g necessarily doing that because they are very focused on the front lines and on keeping malware from building up too much but at this point uh, malware just needs to find a way of exercising a bit of control over here in this little valley in this little area here maybe this here Either of these choke points and Maldrick would be able to take the three metal extractors over to the center eastern side. But the main problem being this redback is just wreaking havoc on everything. Defender fine Defender and Warrior finally putting a stop to his rampage. Admittedly, he did only manage to kill two metal extractors, but had it not been dealt with, that would have been a much greater threat. Anyway, North Chilean G setting up for a big old skirmish. Redbacks are being pushed forward as an assault force, but by and large, setting up for trying to fight Skirmisher on Skirmisher. Recluse versus Rocco. And this is one of those situations where it's a matter of numbers. And with the Warriors coming in, that's going to make it even harder. 
Because like Rockos are more accurate, but Recluses cover a wider ground. So we have more Recluses, they scale better, really. And that's what I was talking about with control. Like, seriously. Build that defender! Build the defender! Okay, the Conjurer wants to die. Alright, fine. The Conjurer gets its wish. But if that defender had been actually completed, which it likely would have been, then this flea wouldn't be able to just completely wreck everything in the southeast side of the map. So at this point, Malware's economy is kind of in tatters. If North Chilean G expanded at all, and they are, that's going to secure them the game unless Malric either harasses them out of it, which, given their current unit choice, does not seem likely, or builds over to the northeast, or north, sorry, center east, northeast area. If Malric builds that up, then it will at least work, sort of, and they need to rebuild now, if not sooner. Like, seriously, they, I don't know what Malric's doing here. They are not building up any constructors that they need to build up, and if they were to build those up, they'd be able to rebuild all this stuff here, because they have four metal extractors, they have eight metal per second leaving on the table, and that is pretty much the advantage that North Chilean G has over them. But no, Malric, mind-bogglingly, is going for something completely different, going for a Spectre instead, which... It's a little early for that. Let's put it that way. Like, the Hammers are doing no good here, because they're just firing on a repairing Stinger. I don't think they're actually even dealing any meaningful damage in terms of repair rate versus damage. No, they are actually dealing no meaningful damage whatsoever. So everything they've... These hammers are useless. They might as well stop or retarget. At this point, no, North Chilean G looks like they just want to finish this. They have no reason not to. I mean, they've pretty much just set up... Although, at this point, they did just lose their worker over to the Northwest, so that's going to slow things down a little bit. But Malric... Not even bothering to rebuild. I don't know why. Like, rule number one. Keep building economy. Always build your economy. Never let it go to rest. Because if you don't build your economy, especially if you don't rebuild your economy in areas you have control over, you're done. And now Malrex totally done. They have one metal extractor, and that's it. If they wanted to build any workers, which they clearly don't, it's too late now. Like, losing their commander was a big blow. They could have probably jumped that over here, too. It wouldn't have made a big difference, but it would have at least been able to walk away. But yeah, no conjurers or anything. Going for pure aggression, which they really can't. Like, they have no money with which to do so. Like, their only hope is basically to, I guess, kill the commander with the specter, which... Kind of a vain hope, given that Spectres... Sorry, given that Recluses can just shoot at the Spectres. Spectres, I mean, if they take damage, they decloak. Not to mention the 15-second reload time. So, 17-second. Right, they changed that. And the Fleas. Of course there's Fleas. Because there would be. So, yeah, Malric, never stop building... You have no workers. None. There, You could have done so much more if you had built a worker. Like, build one more Conjurer... And expand over here, and expand back up here as well, and set up some defenses, because fleas are a thing, and that will completely wreck your face if you if you let them. Because they are terrifying units when undefended. Like, that's how things work. And this Glaive, at least, is being a hero. Glaive over to the northwest, doing what it can to keep North Chilean G's economy down, but it's... Its days are numbered. She's walking right into a Lotus. It won't be able to do any more damage from this point on. And there it goes, the last hope of Malric to at least somewhat equalize this game a little bit. Has gone down the drain. Finally going for a Conjurer, but quite frankly, it's too late. Like, it will be at least a minute before anything else is built. Metal extractors cost 75 metal. With two metal per second, that's only okay, half a minute, but when you consider the constructor build time as well, yeah, it's going to be at least a minute before that's done. And in that time, North Chilean G can just... They can build up what they have now pretty much again, actually. Oh, uh, it takes two minutes. Actually, no, they could. Yeah, if they had any assist if they had assistance on the construct on the factory, if they use this little weaver here to assist the factory, they could actually double their army size in the time it would take for Malric to build a single metal extractor. Malric realizing this decides to self-destruct. And that is the game. Little anticlimactic. It really wouldn't have been that way if Malric could just build an additional metal extractor or additional constructors, and also some defenses in the back line just to deal with fleas. But really, build one more Conjurer, not as opposed to the Sniper, just go for the Conjurer, rebuild all the Metal Extractors, that would have been a game. But unfortunately, Malark did not, so instead it is an ob object lesson in why it is absolutely imperative to build and rebuild your economy at all times. Anyway, 
That was that. So next game will hopefully not be quite so one-sided. It is going to be between Hellwar and North Chilean G. So stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple of moments.